These are the few drawings that I have sent and that got me hired at what is probably most artists dream company. Hello everybody. After a little bit of a rough start into 2023, I'm finally back. I hope you didn't procrastinate in my absence because I will haunt you in your dreams if you did. Now for today, I felt like showing the progress I made over the time I've been drawing and share a few stories from the past. So sit back, relax and enjoy the slideshow. Let's start at the absolute beginning. The oldest drawing I have is this one. And before you laugh, I was like 10. And I'm not gonna lie, for a 10 year old, I think it's pretty good looking. If you didn't figure it out until now, it's supposed to be a wolf. I know he looks a little bit wonky, but come on. Cut me some slack. It's good. It's good for it's good for a 10 year old. Come on. Show me your drawings when you were 10. Now, since I was a 10 year old Da Vinci at the time, I didn't pick up a pencil for like four years after that. Call it the world's greatest art block or call it the world's saltiest game release. Because boy, oh boy, I did not feel like drawing. I was playing League of Legends all the time. I remember the game being Peggy 12 and I wasn't 12 years old obviously so it always felt a little bit illegal to play but it was so fun. And don't you tell me that you didn't do the exact same thing. It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Now fast forward the time that I've been only playing League of Legends and not drawing to around 20 14 maybe? Because in 2014 our school actually had a drawing class. We could choose between drawing and music and since I've already played an instrument I couldn't choose music so I had to draw. And besides the obvious just drawing classes where we would all sit and draw together, we had a sketchbook and we needed to fill that boy. The intention was that we would just fill it with sketches for the entire year and at the end we would give it to our teacher and get a pretty significant grade for it. It was like half of the final grade we had for the subject drawing was the sketchbook. So it was pretty important stuff. And since it was so important, I threw it into a corner and didn't touch it for almost the entire year. All the drawings you see were made in the last like month of school, where I should have been learning for all the final exams we had, but I was just busy with drawing. And that was partly because I was pretty bad in school. Not in a way where my grades would be super low and I almost didn't make it, but I just was never there. I can't even count the number of exams that I just didn't write. I can't even count the times I didn't do our homework and I could not even pretend to know the amount of times I had to be in recess. The only thing I still know is that Wednesday afternoon was always school out. There were no classes on Wednesday afternoon and recess was on Wednesday afternoon and I could never do anything with my friends because I always was in recess. In our school we had to help the janitor do some basic chores when we had to do recess. So the janitor and I became such good friends that we sometimes just hung around and drank a couple of iced teas because there sometimes just wasn't something to do. But anyway, let's get on. You've seen the drawings I made for that class. And by the way, I've got a high grade. I've got the highest grade in our year for the sketchbook. So you know, the other people must have been awful. Now anyway, I didn't draw after that for a pretty significant while again. I think it was around 2019 where I started kind of liking drawing again, because it was that time where I figured out, well, there's actually a job where you can draw all the time and that would be pretty cool. So I was finishing learning the job of a motorcycle mechanic and would just doodle in the time that I would have, which wasn't a lot because I started doodling at the end of 2018. And in 2019, I began to drive motorcycle races. So between traveling and training, there wasn't really that much time to draw. So I don't really have drawings from that period. But they were just awful, so I'm kinda happy I don't have them. Since I didn't really draw much, I always watched tutorials on how to draw. And oblivious little me was watching these tutorials, thinking I will become the greatest artist by just watching these tutorials and not picking up a pen. Turns out 
that's not how you do it. It went on for about a year before I stopped driving motorcycle races and chose to go to art school. Now, living in Switzerland, art school is pretty expensive and I've made the dumb decision that I should just spend the money that I have now on art school, not knowing that there was a pandemic rolling in. I mean, how could I? But still. So I attended art school for the better part of a year and then I dropped out because the pandemic was spreading and I just didn't know what the fuck is going to happen. Art school was okay. I can say that I've learned an awful lot in this year, but I'm sure in the few years after I would have learned quite much. Now in art school I've been doodling quite a bit and these are some drawings that I did in art school. You can see I've improved quite a bit. But that's thanks to a lot of tutorials that I've watched. Obviously, teachers in art school gave me valuable tips as well, but I've also learned a lot from the internet. The biggest resource I've got from art school, though, was the connections. Since at the end of 2021, I found a message from a major game studio that they were having a big project and they would want to bind in some new people, maybe even those that are still studying. Now I'm calling it a major game studio because I have signed what you call an NDA. And since I was so excited, I just signed it without properly reading it. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty messy and my home is very chaotic. So I have no idea where this thing is. So not knowing what exactly I have signed. I'll just be calling it a major game studio and I obviously can't show you what I did there, but I can show you what I've sent them to actually hire me for the short gig that I could do there. These are the few drawings that I have sent and that got me hired at what is probably most artists dream company. Even though it was just a tiny gig and what I have done there has been reworked by an actual professional and almost doesn't look like what I've made it look like, but it's still something I am very proud of and will brag about to the rest of my days. Now, what I can also show you is the letter that I have sent them. I had to go through so many of my emails to find this because somehow on the Windows Mail application, it wouldn't show up when I searched terms from this mail. I don't know why I had to scroll manually down two years. It was a pain, but it was worth it. The letter goes something like this. Greetings. I have seen your message on the school page. My name is Seki Biggins. I am from Switzerland, still studying drawing and painting for games etc. on my own at the moment and determined to become a reputational artist in the future. Enclosed to this email, you can find the final exam of my first year studying at said school. My momentary weaknesses in drawing are vastly outnumbered by my creative skills. I am very aware of your game lore and my thoughts will be a solid addition for your team and project. I will gladly take a task of you to prove my creative worth. Should there be any questions regarding my portfolio or letter, feel free to respond to me via email or, well, my phone number. Kind regards, me. And who would have thought? A few weeks have passed, I've gotten a call and I didn't pick up because it was some kind of number from, well, not from Switzerland. And I thought it's surely to be a scam caller and I'm not going to pick up. And after a few more calls, I've gotten an email, which read, greetings back to you. My name is I have reviewed your letter regarding our project. Since we could not reach you by phone in parenthesis time shift, I am happy to inform you about our project regarding, well, whatever it was regarding. Then there's a lot left out. If you are still interested in working with us, please let me know. Kind regards, the man. After that, there was a little bit of a mail back and forth. I've gotten a task that I could do, which they found acceptable and they invited me to the project. Obviously, I couldn't go to America just like that. So I've worked here in Switzerland from my home 
and sent everything over that I had. Even though it was just a small gig and most of my work got refurbished by an actual good designer and doesn't look like, well, what I did, I'm still super proud and it gave me a huge boost in confidence. One big enough that I am still drawing to this day. I've had big ups and even bigger downs. I mean, you saw all the pieces that I have gathered together slide through here and some of them were okay, some of them were good and even more of them were absolutely bad. The point I'm trying to make is you may not be in the spot you want to be right now. You may feel embarrassed for your drawings and not proud of yourself, but there will be a time where you will think back back on every drawing that you have ever created, not literally but figuratively, and you will be proud that you've come so far. And obviously you will be thankful that you did not lose hope. With these words, stay strong, keep doing what you're doing, don't give up, and happy drawing.